Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 5 of The World Ends With You, the animation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, Joshua. Yeah. Let's play hooky today. You'll be fine, Neku. It'll be fun. It still hurts. You're gonna see her again. I know. Like I can't say when, but you know, cause of spoilers. But you will see her again. own way. Come on. <laughs> oh, if he only knew. Oh, God. <laughs> My precious baby boy. See, honestly, like, I still want this series to get a dub. Because I want to hear, of course, dub. But <laughs> I don't know if I want... Funimation in their, you know, big range of voice actors, or if I want the people from Dream Drop Distance. Knowing me, I kind of want the people from Dream Drop Distance because they are the people who voice them first. They're the most memorable roles that um, I encountered after playing Dream Drop Distance, so I would rather have them than having, like, brand new voices because it wouldn't feel right. But, like, oh my god, because the only thing that's been announced about it is that I think a Spanish dub is coming out and another dub is coming out today. There has been no news um, about this series getting a dub. And I think a lot of people really want it to, but especially the people who voice the damn characters, but who fucking knows? I, I just want it. Please. Like, Damn. You gotta learn to relax. <laughs>
Yeah, because we can't talk about that yet either. Oh, we know. <laughs> you won't find out. I'm just not ready for you to find out. Because, like, ah! You're supposed to blow on it first, huh? <laughs> But really, no, Neko. You you have your right to be very suspicious about Joshua. Joshua is very unusual, and he's different. But we can't talk about that yet because, like, ah. Yeah, but what the fuck is he going to be doing with the camera app, though? I don't even remember. Because, you know what, no, we're going to wait until the end. Um. 
Because it feels like they skipped something. Because I thought they would have showed it last week, and then they didn't show it. So I'm like, okay, they're going to show it this week, but no. And I'm like, Ugh. yeah, okay, see, we're, we're talking about it right there, but. Smells like popcorn. You know, Joshua, I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, you just, just a little bit more. Oh, God, I'm not ready for this. I mean, we know he's got to show up again. Are you looking for a specific pen or a Oh, 
Mm. Well, I mean, you tried, but I mean, he helped, so... Maybe. Someone steal it? Of course. That's wrong. But he's hard headed. You know he's gonna go. We know he's gonna go. <laughs> well, you. Yeah. God, I hated those ones. Unfortunately, that's not going to take it down. Oh, fuck! Oh, damn, it was okay.
No, you want to say something? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Now, are they really going to show it? Show it? Oh, they are. Oh! God, okay. Still wondering how, how they're gonna show with the last episode, but still. Okay, so the moment that I thought they were going to show between last week and this week, it's the moment where, because when it started, and Joshua was like, yeah, come on, like, let's go do something, let's play hooky, and it's like that. You know, when we were, um, it's in the game, I don't remember what day it is, uh, it's the one kid who is, like, obsessed with the pens. And you end up playing the game with him, and you have to defeat him. Whatever day that was, I hated that day. Fuck that day because the goddamn phones. Like, oh my god! And especially because I didn't play it um, on a DS. I played it on my phone, so that's even worse. Even though everybody's like, "No, it's easy," and I'm like, "No, bitch! <laughs> no, it's not." When you're trying to fucking do this. That shit. No, it ain't. But okay. Now that they finally showed he's the Nuku got shot by Joshua. <laughs> They're still missing a little bit of things here and there that we still can't talk about yet, but like, oh god. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not ready for all this shit. And we got six more weeks with this show before we're done. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, God. No, this is just, it's just hurting. It hurts so much. Like, the fact that he now knows. Because I know, I know I'm not the only one who ships these two. Because <laughs> a lot of us in the fandom do ship these two. And when he finds out, it is, like, especially when you're playing the game for the first time, it's one of the most fucked up things. And you're like, wait, wait, no, 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 but then like, why? And then you find out later on, and you're like, what the fuck is going on? But like, oh god, we're not even, we're not even near like the real good shit. We still got a while before before we get to that. But like, something tells me because it's been a while since I played the game. This episode, there were there were some stuff that was necessarily like 100 percent canon, and then there were things like, especially having um. Mr. Hanagawa, is that your say, is that how you say his name? Him, Sane. Um, I don't even remember the conversation that him, Neku, and Joshua had in the game. Was that in the game? I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> See, now I'm going to have to go back and look. Because I don't remember that shit happening. Yes, I remember them eventually playing hooky. And ish. But I, I don't remember them having, like, a conversation like that. And then, you know, with show also stealing a mic and everything. That's what, like, especially... Because the funny thing is about this, and I'll say it maybe with, like, it's almost very similar to almost any other anime adaptation for a game. 50 out of 50 when it comes to a game adaptation for an anime, they're... Some things, they're going to have almost like every little thing that you want, and then sometimes they're not going to have every little detail you want. For an example, with the uh, with the Persona 5 the Animation series, a lot of people were pissed about that series because of the fact is, if you got to see someone who was referencely a confidant, you only got to see them one time, one time only. They never really established like a connection with a certain person. So if it was Ren... Um, you would still get, like, the little connections or the little cute moments with, like, the entire Phantom Thieves, but if we're talking about someone like, well, you get something with Kawakami, but if we're talking about, um, 
the Get Smoke Kid or um, fucking uh, what the fuck is his name? Um, the Gun Guy um, or uh, literally almost everyone else except Shijiro, um, Sai technically, even though the whole time you're talking to her, you're in a fucking room. Um, what is... Not, his name's not Yadawichi. Oh my god! Yusuke! There we go! <laughs> oh, it's a Yusuke! <laughs> Are you even like... Okay, I'll give you one. Akechi, before Persona 5 R came out, and you play just regular, you know, vanilla Persona 5. Akechi gets a little to nine. But in the anime, he gets, like, the most screen time and confidant, kind of. Because, of, of course, because Royal was coming out at the exact same fucking time. But if we're talking about what's-his-face's, um, classmate, I think it's, yeah, Yusuke's classmate, she gets nothing. She, I think the only time that you really honestly get to see her is when you finally go on your Hawaii trip. Because, of course, like, his class was going to L.A. and then, you know, a storm and then they end up in Hawaii. Um, or, like, anybody else who, who does not get, like, the really big, big screen times that, like, all the Phantom Thieves, Shijiro, and Sai get. Because it's, like, everyone else in that series got little to none. So, yeah, a lot of people hate that. Then with with Persona 4, it's kind of the same thing, but that's why they also have Golden, because Golden, the animation, really established, like, the connection you had with the gang and everything. So everybody was like, yeah, I enjoyed this, but, like, it, it, it's like apples and oranges. It's about what the hell you like the most. But with whatever the hell is about to happen next, because even as someone who has played the game several times, and you're thinking... Okay, we're on day such and such. We're getting close to the point where, yes, they're going to have to go against show. We know we know that. I'm guessing by next week it's going to happen. So then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the final five episodes will be um, Neku and Beat together because Beat is the last person you establish a connection with. Because the big thing is, it, it the thing is, is like wherever the hell episode six ends next week, that's how we're going to figure out where the majority of the final five episodes are going to end. But as of right now, like no, because see, because the one thing I I love about the show, but then at the same time I dislike, is that you give me a preview like this with nothing in it, but on the damn Twitter page, you give me a whole freaking preview and it's. Just little to none and you're like what the hell like I wish they would have just showed it in the episode for like the next preview instead of giving a name but I, I understand like okay if Square Enix had or even Nomura himself was like oh, okay we don't really have time so we're just gonna show it on Twitter I get that but then at the same time it just would have been a little bit better if they just would have showed it at the end of the episode I'm just saying but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode five <clears throat> of the world ends with you the animation if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next friday for episode six bye guys